getting bigger, but I'm not getting any stronger. There's an answer for that. So a friend of mine is interested in learning about breast implants. Your friend? Uh, yeah, my, my friend. Okay, well, there are a number of reasons why people get breast implants. People can get breast implants because they're dissatisfied with the shape and the size of their breasts. Other medical reasons include excessive weight loss, breast cancer, and congenital deformity, which means that you're born with different sized breasts. Oh, okay. I guess he's dissatisfied with his chest. What can I do, Doc? Uh, I'll refer you to Dr. Shin, who can help you. Thanks. Hi, I'm Dr. Shin's assistant. So I hear we're, we're interested in getting implants today? Hi, I'm Dr. Shin. I'll talk you through the procedure and help you feel more comfortable. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, so I mean, uh, my friend wants to do it, but uh, he doesn't really know anything about the procedure. Before we can explain the procedure, we should review the anatomy of the breast. You may already know that the breast is a tear-shaped milk producing gland over the pectoral muscles or the chest. The fatty tissue called adipose maintains overall structure. Because the specific anatomy varies from person to person, it is important to consult with a surgeon to minimize any possible complications. So my friend should probably be here then? Yes, I would recommend it. The first thing to consider is the actual implant material and type. The implant itself is an elastomer shell that is filled with either silicone or a salt water solution called saline. They come in many sizes and the usual rule of thumb is one cup size is equivalent to 150 or 175 cc. Next we will look at where the implant can be placed. Subglandular placement, or the image to your left, keeps the implant from interfering with the pectoral muscles and is preferred by more athletic patients. Subpectoral placement is associated with a longer recovery time, but many specialists agree that the risks of implant rippling are reduced. During the actual procedure, the surgeon will make an incision that will leave minimal scarring and allow for insertion of the implant. This drawing shows the multiple different kinds of incisions. Once the incision is made, I will continue to cut through tissue to create the pocket where the implant will be placed. This is the most difficult part of the procedure because I will have to have an idea of what the final outcome of the surgery should be to make it look as natural as possible. Will it hurt after? It varies case by case, but my assistant can discuss the recovery process with you. After your breast augmentation procedure, you may be placed in a surgical dressing. Prior to your discharge, you and your caregiver will be given detailed instructions about your post-surgical care, including drains if they've been placed, the normal symptoms you will experience, and any potential signs of complication. You should be walking under your own strength immediately after your breast augmentation surgery. It is very important that you walk a few minutes every few hours to reduce the risk of blood clot formation in your legs. The first two to five days following your breast augmentation surgery, you may feel stiff and sore in the chest region. Any dressings will be removed within several days and you may be instructed to wear a support bra. You may experience difficulty raising your arms and you should not lift, push, or pull anything or engage in any strenuous activity or twisting of the upper body. Some discoloration and swelling will occur initially, but this will disappear quickly. Most residual swelling will resolve within a month. After breast augmentation, it is often possible to return to work within a few days or a week, depending on the type of activities that are required at your job. After all that research, my friend finally decided to go ahead and get breast implants, and I think he was very happy with his decision. Yo, man, this is a great idea. No problem, dude. I mean, I had to run around and get a lot of information from you, but the good news is, like, not even women can get implants now. They're for everyone. Isn't that great? So great. Best friend, chest bump. <coughs> <coughs>